what's sad is that there are fundamental things that we as humans unfortunately realize too late in life. I'm going to be giving you three things that 99% of people realize too late in life and if they knew this earlier, their life could have been much, much, much different and much better. So strap on your seatbelt, prepare for a bumpy ride and do not forget to please smash that subscribe button if you're new. Let's go. Off by saying that no one is coming to save you irrespective of how much hope you may harbor in your heart irrespective of how much you may be you know wishing that that someone just come and save you just give you a better life that is not gonna happen the only person that can give you a better life is you if you have the all you can have all the ambition in the world you can have all the drive in the world you can have all you know the biggest wishes in the world but what are you doing in terms of actions to transmute those dreams into reality because a dream without action a dream without definite plans will remain a dream and if you dream big if, if you have big goals set to yourself obviously your your biggest intention is going to be to transmute those goals um, from something that is, exists only in your mind to something that really exists. So, I'm here to wake you up and I'm here to tell you that no one can save you but you. No one can accomplish your goals but you. And no one can tell you to get off your butt. Someone can tell you but ultimately it's up to you. Someone can tell you, get off your butt and start doing something and you can just completely ignore it because it is up to you. It's up to your mindset. And that's why I continue to preach all of these motivational hacks. I continue to preach all of these simple bad habit breakers, I would, I would put it like that way, in order for you to level up in life. So please, too many people realize that or realize this too late in their life. Nobody is coming to save you and the only person that can build the life you want and the only person that can you know achieve the things that you want to achieve is you so wake up get to work let's move on oi you yeah i'm talking to you listen what's your problem why don't you subscribe to the channel 70 to 80 percent of you watching right now statistically scientifically are not subscribed why Smash that subscribe button before I give you these. Otherwise, I'm not going to give you more tips. It's as simple as that. No, just, just smash that subscribe button for me. Let's go. Next thing I want to talk about is something that, sadly, I actually see so, so much. And too many people realize too late in life that they shouldn't have changed for a certain person. Whether it be a loved one, whether it be a close friend, a family member, if a person has a problem with you and if a person has a problem with your personality and how you are as a human being, that is their issue. And they shouldn't make their issue your issue. What the f stay true to yourself, stay true to who you are. Oftentimes when we force ourselves to do things that we're not really into, when we force ourselves to like people that we don't really like, that never ends good. It always ends in some sort of disaster, in someone getting hurt, both parties getting hurt, everyone ending up hating everyone. It's just a whole catastrophe. And I like to plead to you is that I also made this mistake in the past. I also thought that, okay, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe I should change this. Maybe I should change that. And then as you get older, you start to realize that I shouldn't have changed and I shouldn't need to change for someone if someone cannot accept me for who i am fundamentally then it's not going to work move on to the next there are billions of people on planet earth i guarantee you that you can find someone out there who will accept you more than one person probably who will accept you for who you truly are so don't feel like you know because you got rejected once or twice that you're not good enough stay true to yourself I'm not saying make small compromises, of course, by all means, but that needs to come from both sides, if, if we were talking about a relationship. But fundamentally, you should always be the person you were from birth. You should always be the person practicing the habits you would practice, doing the things you would do, enjoying the things you would enjoy. 
without allowing other people's influences to kind of change the person you are. And too many people realize it's too late in life and they end up regretting it for the rest of their life that lays ahead. Now, let's move to the third and final and probably the most important thing that people realize too late in their lives. Listen attentively to what I have to say next. Hard work beats talent if talent does not work hard. You can have the greatest gifts. You can have the greatest gifts in rap. You can have the greatest gifts in athletics. You can have the greatest gifts in chemistry, mathematics, whatever your gift may be in. But if you fail to harness the power of those gifts and put them into action, they're useless. As simple as that. I've met so, so many people that I feel have so much potential, yet their focus is not right. Their mindset is not right. They're, they're, they're focused on, you know, impressing other people, fitting in, rather than pursuing their natural God-given talent. And it is very sad because let's say, for example, you have a phenomenal talent in athletics, right? You train hard at the beginning, you're enthusiastic, and then you kind of drop off. You hang out with the, when you're with the wrong crowd, you get involved, get involved with the incorrect things, um, whatever it may be, but it puts you off track. And you end up, you as you grow older, you begin to realize that, okay, you know what? Maybe I should have pursued that a little bit harder because I could have been at the nationals. I could have competed internationally. But your mindset and your priorities are what got you off of it. Even the dog agrees with me once again. But um, make sure you work hard. You can be the most talentful person, because, but if you do not work hard to harness the power of those talents, someone else with you know, less talent than you, but working harder than you will beat you. And that is a proven fact. I've seen it happen so many times, and I'm sure you guys in your lifetimes have seen something like this happen. We've seen this talentful person thought he was better than everyone and then here comes another person not as much talent but works very hard beats him right and achieves more success than him so make sure you work hard because hard work can be talent i appreciate you watching this video and if you have any other recommendations that you would like me to talk about please leave them down below in the comment section and once again i urge you to share the videos with everyone you think this may help. I have a lot of videos on a lot of motivational topics on this channel meant for everyone in every type of situation. So be free, feel free and be sure to share it with friends and family and I'll be seeing you next time.